at the beginning of 2024. The job market is quite unpredictable. Sometimes they hire lots of people, sometimes they lay off lots of employees. However, the most challenging part when you are laid off is that you don't know what to say at an interview when they ask you why were you laid off. Because being laid off might be a sign that you're very weak and a low performance. However, laid off is unavoidable to some people because sometimes it's not their fault. But if you sound very desperate in your job interview, you're going to lose those offers. In this video, I will share with you what to say in the job interview if you are laid off or take a career break. Make sure to stay until this end of the video where I share with you the exact script talk about layoff during the interview so that you're able to not only pass the interview but also guarantee going to impress the hiring manager. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product feature in Forbes. I've helped thousands people land a dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup, startups and continuously to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe and check out new video every Tuesday. First of all, let's talk about the meaning of layoff. It means the company doesn't make enough revenue or doesn't have enough work to do, so they decide to reduce the workforce, which means that it doesn't mean that it's your fault to get laid off. However, definitely this leaving a bad impression to the hiring managers for your new job feel like, mm, there be other reasons we're laid off. Maybe you're not that necessary within the company. So therefore, I teach you the top six strategies to say the right things in an interview. Number one, you must set the right mindset. You know, as I said, everyone takes a career break or get laid off for many different reasons. And as long as you know how to talk about it. So do not feel guilty that you're also taking a long time to take care of your family members or even for personal pleasure as well. This is especially true for men because men frequently are very hard on themselves because the society expect men to work really hard, maybe. So whenever men take maybe one month, two months break, they all freak out saying that, oh no, people may be thinking I'm not good enough. This kind of mindset is not helpful and actually very toxic because it's going to pull you down in terms of your confidence during those interviews. Interviews. Equally myself, I'm taking a career break by taking care of my newborn baby and also my second baby as well and by teaching full-time instead of working as a director of product. With situations like this happen, we must think about the positive side and learn what to say in the interview. So number two, it be honest and not try to bring up proactively. There's a lot of bad mistakes out there saying that you need to proactively tell recruiters you are laid off. That sounds so awkward when the interview said, Hey, I am Joe Snow, and I was laid off last week. I'm here for interview. Definitely, I don't think it's the right attitude to tell upfront. I don't think it's a job by saying that. The correct way to do it is that do not show it on your resume proactively and do not tell your recruiters from the first time you go into an interview, only if when you show up in the later of the conversation. You must impress them first. So now let's talk about the resume. On your resume, we should remove the month of your resume. So only the years. For example, you were from 2021 to 2024. Or you start your new job from 2024 to present. For example, one more student, he was laid off, but he took a three months break to really chill and enjoy his life and start applying for jobs and taking his new jobs are from March 2024. Instead of saying that he didn't work from January to March 2024, he can directly say that he started his new job from 2024 to present. I want you to just give it a try. After you remove all the months on your resume, only show the years, and it's less obvious that you have a big career break or you were laid off. The third is use number-driven methodology. Just in case people start asking you, are you currently employed? And in that case, you just need to be honest saying that I'm currently unemployed and my entire company had a layoff. For example, Discord laid off 30% of its employee at the beginning of this year. Any of a company, if you find out that it's a whole department or whole group of people getting laid off, you can just say the percentage people get laid off of the entire company because company started shift focus on a very different kind of business work stream or they didn't want to work on the same product anymore. What if you were laid off or fired due to performance reason? I'm gonna show you in the later part of this video. Now let's continue. Number four, talk about professional development during unemployment periods such as layoff or career break. Because learning new skills is not considered as a career break. Each time when our student go to get a certification or go to certain school to really learn new skills and people need to do it full time or focus on studying as much as they can, therefore you should say this way in your interview. 
I decided to take a career break and focus on self-development. For example, I took AI product management certification and I also built a new brand new AI product with a team of people because I believe AI is the future. So in this way, you shift the focus from why you were laid off, why you don't have a job to, hey, I believe I'm building something new during this career break by working with a team of developers in the AI field. So therefore, I recommend everybody, if you are laid off, immediately take some courses or certification. The easiest way to do it, you can go to LinkedIn to take those certification courses on LinkedIn, or you take some more advanced bootcamp and really gain some hands-on experience about AI or any other new skills you want to build. For example, we develop a brand new AI product management bootcamp where you're able to work with a team of developers as a product manager to launch a brand new AI product to gain those AI hands-on experience. And we also help you to launch your AI AI product using my own social channel, which had over 100,000 product management communities that help you to push your product with drive real user engagement. If you're interested in AI bootcamp, you can go to link in the description to download the syllabus. Number five, talk about your family duties. There's so many different reasons people were laid off or they are taking a career break. But even if you are laid off, you can also shift the fact about you want to spend lots of time with your family members and choose to take a short amount of break. For example, I have a student that's really talking about the taking care of the sick parents or family members. And also I personally took a career break focused on teaching full time because I want to take care of my newborn baby, which that's brought two and a half years ago. Now he's already toddler. And then I had the second baby, which is another newborn baby. Yeah, those are very legit reasons for people to focus on family and instead of talking about your employed or unemployed. If you find this tip helpful, make sure to comment below with additional questions and hit the like button. And let's continue. Highlight your accomplishment and skills by making a smooth transition and using all the strategies I just shared with you earlier. Here's a specific script I've written for all of you guys. You can literally tailor to your own unique family or personal situation. But this specific script had two steps. When people talk about, hey, you were unemployed, have a career break, I'm going to say the following. Step number one, talk about why. I decided to take a career break and not rush back to the job hunting right away because I need to take care of my family members and it's an important time and duty in my life that I decided to prioritize my family temporarily right now. Step number two is talk about your achievement. Here's what I say in the job interview. Even in my current company, decide to restructure the workforce and lay off employees. However, I believe that my experience of managing over $250 million in capital budget, launching an award-winning AI product, and coaching over thousands of product managers from entry level to VP level will actually make me the top 1% candidate in the job market. Therefore, I don't see it as a career break. It's actually helping me to recharge and accelerate my career growth. So using this kind of script and methodology, you're actually focusing on the entire attention of unemployment based on your family duties and how you're able to leverage your past experience to become the top 1% candidate. So eventually selling yourself by dodging this very tricky question. Why are you laid off? Knowing how to sell yourself is actually the fastest way for you to get back to the workforce and also get paid top dollar. I have a playlist where I share with you all the top product management interview questions and answers in database, especially designed for product managers. You should check it out right here in this playlist. Also remember to download the AI Product Management Bootcamp syllabus if you want to start your AI PM career. If you find this video very helpful, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to this channel, the stock Nancy Lee from PM Accelerator.io. I'm gonna see you in my next video right here.